I, I took a job um, working in basically golf course construction, something that I hadn't dealt with before. Everything that I had been doing was not related to cons really the construction industry. I moved into a role where I was capable of doing everything from you know, running a shovel to driving a dump truck, running an excavator, running a bulldozer. We started that morning running a ditch. Everything started off according to plan before coffee break and came back from coffee break and went back to work and within, within 10 minutes the accident occurred. We all basically noticed at the same time that there was the one side of the bank looked a little bit unsteady. So I was actually in the process of getting out of, of the trench. Without even seeing it, the whole wall of the trench just came down. Because I had my back turned, it basically got me on the back and the side, my right side. And <clears throat> the impact pushed me up against the other side of the trench and pinned me there. I actually started to go blind. I was asking my, you know, my boss was above me. He had actually given me mouth to mouth to, to bring me, bring me out of it, and he started to fade away on me, and I couldn't figure out what was happening. I was asking him, you know, why, why can't I see? Why can't I see? I was in induced coma for 10 days or 12 days, so um, I didn't even know what was going on really <laughs> until couple of weeks down the road. Meanwhile, everyone else, you know, my family and everybody had been, you know, through so much. The major injury was my pelvis. My pelvis was fractured in six different spots and a couple of them were pretty serious um, with bones breaking off and spinning around and them having to go and basically retrieve them and put them back in their place. First time I remember seeing my dad, I woke up in the CCU, <laughs> critical care, and I thought, you know, everything was, was okay, and I, all I was, you know, I did, because of the numbness from the injury, everything, I didn't have a lot of pain, I just, like, when am I getting out of this place kind of thing, and my dad came and saw me, and he just basically broke down. Yeah, it, it was pretty tough on him, right? My fiance had kept a, a diary, and about two months down the road, I I re read through the diary, and it was the first two weeks that I was in the hospital. I couldn't even get through it because, you know, just seeing what she had gone through, it's pretty tough. It's been quite a price. I mean. It's been nine months, it's been a long, very long nine months. I still have time to go. I'm still walking with a crutch and sometimes to try my best to walk without any, but you know, that all depends on how my body feels that day. And for, you know, someone like myself who, you know, 25 years old and athletic and everything, and then just one day everything's put on hold, you know. No time to send an email message to let people know or make a couple phone calls. Just split second, everything stops.